Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome back to something a little different than what uh, we usually do for these special things. I'm Robin, that's Zephyr, as usual, and uh, today we are going to be starting a Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. Hooray! So, for anyone who's seen, like, other progression series on YouTube, stuff like, uh, MBDs, CMOs, all those kind of peoples, ours is going to be a little bit different, just because, I don't know, this is what we both kind of agreed on, in terms of, like, you know, the way we want to run things. We might change them as we go if something doesn't feel right, but right now, this is how this is going to work. After every single duel, well, before every single duel, I guess would be the better way to say it, we will each draw 24 packs from the most recent pack. Well, you should explain what a progression series is first for people who don't know. Well, no, like the rules will explain themselves. That's why I was going to start with the rules. Oh, okay. Um, after that, we will construct a deck based upon the cards that we have drawn, and then we will duel. Regardless of who wins or loses, after that, we will draw 24 cards from the next pack in the series that comes out. So we'll start with the first pack that ever came out in the States, that being Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. After that, we'll draw 24 for Metal Raiders, and then we'll draw 24 for Magic Ruler, and so on and so forth. Eventually, hopefully, getting an actual deck. In terms of winning and losing, as of right now, what we are going to do is the winner will get five packs from the most recently released tournament pack, and the loser will get to pick three packs from any old set drawn. So, say I lose Magic Rulers, I would be able to pick three packs from either Legend of Blue Eyes or Metal Raiders to draw and add to my collection. Whereas mm -hmm. Zephyr would get to draw five packs from the most recent tournament pack. I'm not sure whether that would be tournament pack one or two, but we'll figure that out. Yeah. Uh, as of right now, you might be wondering what are we going to do about cards being forbidden or limited. Obviously, for the Legend of Blue Eyes, we're not going to have anything be limited or forbidden. Um, and that's the way we're going to try and run this for at least a little while. If it feels like something gets a little bit too broken because one of us draws something that's just obviously unfair, I'm looking at you, Yatagarasu. I mean, I feel like Yatagarasu should be, like, obvious. Yeah. Man. Like... <laughs> Like, it should be a ban on sight, just on principle. Yeah, like, okay, you drew Yara, okay, w w okay, I'll allow it this one time, but we'll just, no one gets it from here on. Mm-hmm. Like, even if we both draw Yara, Yara is just unkind. Maybe until we get to Synchros. <laughs> Maybe. But, uh... I don't know. If we... If at any point we decide that it feels like a ban list is necessary, We'll either slowly start introducing it, or, more than likely, we'll probably leave it up for you guys to decide what our ban list is. Mm-hmm. Because user poll ban list sounds really chaotic and really funny. Exactly. Like, the one thing I don't like is having the players decide what cards to ban, purely because I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose and defeats the fun out of, you know, yeah. A progression series amongst friends. Yeah. I, the entire point should be to have fun. Yeah. And so, like, if if somebody picks a really good card and they make a deck that's, you know, sort of set around that card, then two things happen. One, you're gonna, like, you're probably gonna know that this card's gonna be banned. So I'm either gonna save it or just not play it or something. Like, it discourages people from playing what they want to play. And two, it, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it, so it's like, if I miraculously draw enough cards to actually run Gravekeepers, Zeph can't ban the best oh, yeah. card in Gravekeepers to, uh, stop me from playing my Gravekeepers mm -hmm. deck. Yeah, and the second thing is, if you build a deck around a card and it gets banned, like, the whole purpose is to have fun, so if you're making your pl other players spend a few hours or a day or the or a week like if it's a weekly tournament type thing you don't want your players to spend that entire week deciding you know making an entirely new deck and new strategy exactly for that like just like it, it just seems unfun to me so like you don't want to rather waste have a i would rather have a ban list that is 
not necessarily in my control or in the player's controls. Yeah. You don't want so to... having it either be random or uh, based on the com community or something. Yeah, you don't want to uh, force me to spend a week of my time making a new deck because you decided to ban Necro Valley. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for, I'm using Gravekeepers as an example because it's one of the earliest archetypes and it's also probably an archetype I will definitely run if I manage to draw enough cards for it. <laughs> Beyond that, before we actually get started for you guys, we will show you guys what we pulled individually and the decks that we decided to build. And then you guys will be brought back to us to see how we do all. So, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to the polls. All right, it's time to open Legend of the Blue Eyes. I I'm not expecting to get as good of a cause as uh, I did during the test draw that me and Zef did, but you know, hey, maybe if I can get if I can get anything decent, I'll I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is pretty largely garbage. Like 1,500 on a fusion. That's just not even good at all. Actually, that's basically everything, and that was. Terrible and useless. Uh, Trial of Nightmare is a decent attacking card, but I'm still not really getting anything great. Uh, Succubus Knight is okay. Urabi, that's actually not bad. Target two monsters in your opponent's graveyard and banish them. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but if he gets a monster reborn, that might be good. Maybe as a side. Dragon Capture Jar, that's not bad. I'll probably run that as a one of, just in case he does get blue eyes or something. Uh, Legendaries. Okay, here we go. Swords of, Swords of Revealing Light and Giant Soul of Stone. Alright. Alright, so. Act 6, okay. Um, not a fan of. I'm getting a lot. Goblin Secret Remedy is okay, Spike Siege was okay, I'm getting a lot of garbage, unfortunately, that's not that, that's not fantastic. Uh, Machine Conversion Factory, Laser Cannon Armor, Two-Pronged Attack is fine, it's like a semi-nuke. God, I've gotten so many sparks, this is actually upsetting. I've gotten so many sparks, this is so- oh my god! Can I get a couple less sparks, please? Uh, Umi is fine. Skull of Edward, okay. Uh, okay, this, is, this isn't bad. Skull of Edward, Urabi, and Hain Hain. Hain Hain's great, uh, for temporary removal. So, Skull of Edward, I'm honestly fine with this. So, we get it, we're gonna get okay core. But, I kind of need some tribute monsters, or I'm really gonna suffer. Or a fucking fusion card. Uh, this is, this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, Trap Hole, Reaper of the Cards. Alright. So, at least now we have something. But Reaper of the Cards is more Defender than anything else. So... Okay, Swords of Revealing Light. That kind of saves the deck a little bit. Two copies of Swords. Still need some Tribute Monsters. Three of Swords. Okay. Alright, three of Swords. Uh... Some, mo some tribute monsters, please. Right, get yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, really. Alright, three of Skull of Edward. And Fisher, okay. Kel ah, the Celtic Guardian. Unless these next four packs are amazing, I think I'm gonna be in a really bad way. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, Succubus Knight is fine. What like the fucking okay. This is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. I did not draw- I, I was hoping for, like, anything at all. The best card I have in my hand is Succubus Knight. Given I did get swords, so... I'm not in a super bad way, but... I don't really have anything I can even defend with. 
I don't like Succubus Knight because Succubus Knight is literally only as good at like it's it's only a little bit better than Skull of Edward. What do I even have? All right, so looking at my cards a little harder, I do have Spiked Siegeva and Misadi Zume, which is which are both water types. Uh, Skull of Edward is a wind and a winged beast. Succubus Knight is a warrior and a dark. How many warriors do- what field spells did I get? I might be able to make something happen if I have some decent field spells. I don't have- I'm not doing too bad, uh, in terms of other cards. I do worry about the fact- uh, I do have Hinotama, a lot of Hinotama, actually. I could run some bone. It's a little bit sus, but I could run some bone. Um, I see I have Yami, which is feed and spellcaster. I have- Fish, Sea Serpent, Thunder, and Aqua. I have Warrior and Beast Warrior. And Insect, Beast, Plant, and Beast Warrior. Alright, what what are my options? I didn't draw really any good field spells. So... I think my best options right now are probably... Forest or Sojin. Because Sojin is Warrior, Beast Warrior. And that's Warrior, uh, that's Warrior, uh, that's Beast Warrior. We have a decent contingent of Beast Warriors. Uh, what, how much does Sogan boost? Uh, that's Beast Plant, that's everything though. It is everything, which is risky, because that means he can use them too, is the thing. What about, uh, Beasts and Beast Warriors, maybe? If I include beasts and in beast warriors, uh, but that does get me frenzied panda, but that only makes it as strong as Urabi and uh, Witty Phantom. We have a decent contingent of okay four stars. Giant Soldier of Stone. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a tough deck to make. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, YugiohProDeck.com. The link will be in the description for this and everything else that we're going to be using for this little thing. That way you guys can try this with your friends or something, you know, that sort of thing. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this site and we're going to go to the pack opener right here. And then we are going to hit custom draft mode. And right here on this drop box for pack type, you want to scroll all the way down to TCG pre 2016 and then for sort you are going to hit release date oldest and it should be this very first pack right here and there you go yeah this is the legend of blue eyes white dragon we are going to put 24 because that's how many we are going that's how many packs we're going to be opening and we're going to make our starter deck based off of what we open there so after you do that you are going to hit start draft and here's where you start opening your packs and uh let's just see if we draw anything worthwhile all right got a dragon treasure hino thomas soul and eh. aqua Medora is decent what we're and Curse of Dragon is also really nice. Um, the thing we're looking for most starting out, I think, is mostly attack power. So a rain temperature, a thousand, a thousand, that's... I think that's okay. It's not terrible, but it's not impressive either. Uh, we have Mountain, so if we get Winged Beasts and Thunder, so if we get more of those and Dragons, then... Uh, we could probably make something out of it. Like, we already have Curse of Dragon, which is actually really good. And Aqua Mador is very good defensive-wise. A Hinotama, not so great. It's 500 damage to your opponent's life points, which I guess could be useful if we're running... if we draw more burn, I guess. Uh, Ray's Body Heat is... 300 attack and defense to dinosaurs and dragon treasure is obviously really good because uh 
extra extra damage for our Curse of Dragon. And we do have another uh, Wing Beast right here with Taihon. So, decent start. Let's uh, let, let, let's just let's open the next one. Okay, silver bow and arrow. And just go real fast. Dark Fire Dragon. That's a okay fusion. It's not great. Not okay. It's kind of bad. You would need Fire Grass and Petite Dragon. Follow Wind. Wing Beast. Equip. Decent. We do have a fairy. We do have Wing Beast. A legendary sword for Warrior. So, M Warrior can definitely use it. Overall, meh. So let's see what else we get. Similar thing as last time, we got another one of these guys, uh, another M Warrior, another Fall of Wind. We got Petite Dragon, which is alright, I guess. I've always liked Petite Dragon, but as you can see, it's not very impressive. Um, 13th Grave. 1200, that's neat. But Grave Digger Ghoul, what does that do? Select up to two monsters from your opponent's graveyard and remove the card from play. Alright. That's a decent one. If Robin was running Monster Reborn, which is something you can uh, get from these packs. Root Water, meh. Hard Armor, meh. Like, hard armor is decent for like a starter defense, I guess. Like, first turn starter defense, but other than that, not really anything great. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Dragon Capture Jar and Beaver Warrior is actually really decent. Like, 4 star with 1200 attack, 1500 defense. It's decent overall, not like the greatest. And another legendary sword, so. Warrior's not looking too bad, and Spike Seedra is, you know, 1600 with uh, 5 stars, so not not great. Not great as a tribute summon. Armored Starfish, decent for defense, though uh, if you have Aquamador like I do, like I drew on my first pack, I would very much prefer that. Pack number five, already another Spike Seedra, this time Reaper of the Cards. I like Reaper of the Cards, it's a very cool uh, card. This lets you, whenever you flip summon it, or yeah, it has a flip effect where you select one trap card and then you destroy it, but if the select trap card is set, um, you pick it up, you see it, if it's a trap card, it's destroyed, if it's a spell card, return it to its original position. Uh, it's either you destroy a trap card that is that might threaten the field, or you just get to see what your opponent is running. You know, what, what spell card they have set. Either way, it's useful. Knowledge is always useful. And this time we have Stop Defense. Select one defense on your side of the field, no, on your opponent's side of the field, and change it to attack. This okay. Like, these 1200 beaters are okay, decent. Like, keep in mind, this is like a lot of the stuff here is going to be very low in terms of like attack power. So, 1200 is actually kind of decent, at least from what I've seen. Two pronged attack is not good. You Destroy two of your own monsters so that you can destroy one of your opponent's monsters, which has its uses. You're better off running Fissure or Trap Hole or something. I'm getting more defensive creatures more than anything, so we might want to build around that, I guess. I don't know. Dark King of the Abyss is decent. Dark Energy for Fiends, so like these two can go together. And then Electro Whip the Thunder types. Here's interesting. We have a Mammoth Graveyard, 1200. That's decent. Another Beaver Warrior. That's that's really good. Turtle Tiger is very decent. Uh, Sandstone is... <laughs> okay. 
it's it's it, it, five stars for a 1300 attack power 1600 defense not really worth it final flame though another burn card we might just be running burn guys if we keep getting more burn cards uh, sogan legendary sword that's like the fourth one which uh unfortunate hain hain is very good it's a flip effect and it selects one mon you select one monster on the field and return it to the owner's hand all right the halfway point Trihorn Dragon, now that's what I'm talking about right here. Yoruba is actually decent, 1500 attack. And then Enchanted, Enchanting Mermaid, that is, yeah, that's what I, that's a pretty decent one, yeah. 1200 attack points, but Trihorn Dragon though, that is really good. Nothing outstanding, moving on, more power. <gasps> Reborn, there we go. Fusionist, literally the worst fusion card of all time. The Angel and Mystic Sheep, both low power monsters. Or a 900 beater, which uh, <laughs> not worth it. Like, why would you ever fuse that? This right here, the Monster Reborn, that's, that's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about, right? Mystical Elf, though. That's a good one. Like that's a classic right here. 2000 defense. Very good wall for this early on. Hain, another Hain Hain too. And another Hinotama. So like we might be running part burn. <laughs> that would be funny. Hey look, it's part of Robin's favorite deck. <laughs> Maybe I'll draw more skull servants and uh <laughs> Another, ooh, a red eyes, yes. And another dragon capture jar. Another Euro bio, auto grade. Yes, like that, that one's worth it just for the pot of greed. Armed a ninja, that's a good one. Also skull red bird, a very good four star, 1550 attack points. That is really good not have to tribute anything. Another grave digger, ghoul. And another skull red bird. Can't never say no to that. Another steel ogre grotto. Giant soldier of stone, another classic. And pretty fucking good. Like right, 1300, 200. Very good. Like, I'm drawing all of these fusion cards, but not any polymerizations. Which sucks. More sparks though. Like, I might be going for a mountain deck though. Like I drew Curse of Dragon and a Red Eyes. And then also have Lesser Dragons. And we're also having a Skull Red Bird. So it might not be a bad idea. Remove Trap. Also pretty good. Pot, another Pot of Greed. And Dark Magician. I, I am finally drawing something decent. This is this is this is me being happy now. I am I am very excited. <laughs> a fucking dark magician, that's that's what I'm talking about. And a second got pot of greed. Another skull red bird. Pretty decent. Let's see what we pull. Another mountain and another skull servant. Another hain hain. So that makes three. And this last one it was a a green phantom key all right so but we had a very weak start in terms of pulls but the second half was really good we got the red eyes we got the pot of greeds we got a monster reborn somewhere yeah right there okay so after you do all of that, you're going to want to go to download YDK draft and you're going to download it. So after that, you're going to either want to click on this hammer, which should open uh, the same draft in the deck builder, but it, it doesn't work for me. So instead you're going, you can just go to deck builder right here and then you're going to hit import from 
.ydk deck file. And once you do that, you're going to hit edit and sort. That way it sorts all of your cards. This is just to keep track of all of the cards that you pull. Like we're not going to be making the deck from here. Instead, uh, we are going to go to duelingbook.com and you're going to log in and then you're going to hit duel. That also, you also want to make an account if you haven't. And you're going to go to deck constructor. Oh uh, yeah, this was the like, the practice deck I was running with uh, against Robin. So we'll just clear that. And you're going to want to open this in like a separate window. That way you're not going between tabs. But basically, you're going to look at the, mm, the creature that you want in your deck. So let's say Curse of Dragon. You're going to go to the search bar right there. Type in Curse of Dragon. You're going to find your card. And you're going to drag it into the box right here. And I think this is what I'm going to be running with when we duel. I can dig this. This actually feels... It feels like it, it has the skeleton of something that I can work with. Like, this is way better than what I drew last time when I was practicing with Robin. Where I drew basically nothing special. Nothing with decent attack power. And I drew... I did draw a lot of Monster Destroy cards. Well, not a lot, but I drew... I drew two Fissures and a Trap Hole. So, like, I would have loved to see one of those pop up. But, unfortunately, I was not lucky enough. So, yeah, this is the deck we're going to be running. And... I will see you guys in the actual duel. Until then, it's gonna be Robin's turn to explain and build his deck and everything. So I decided to make this my deck. Uh, I'm running, I'm running Sojin just because it kind of jives with some of my monsters, like uh, Beaver Warrior, Celtic Guardian. It also means if I get Succubus Knight out, I might be able to attack over something for a little bit more. Uh, the downside of Sojin is that it also benefits his Succubus Knight, not only my own, uh, which sucks, but I don't really have any other options. Uh, Dragon Capture Draw is good in case he has blue eyes. Uh, that will like, allow me to pretty hard stall him out. Uh, between that and like everything else I've got going on, I think that's kind of my play right now, between Swords of Revealing Light and everything. Like, stalling him out is going to be the number one thing I want to do right now. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything else available to me. So, yeah. Like, I do- I loaded my side deck with monsters, because that seems like a really good idea. Uh, just in case I need to tag out some of my spell and traps for monsters. Shit like Red Medicine, or Goblin Secret Remedy, some of the Bone, maybe. Just in case I need a little bit more monster reinforcement. Wait, how many copies of Red Medicine do I have? Only two. I can I can't I can't have that in my deck. Uh but yeah. This is about the best I can do, and I really just have to hope that I draw it well enough to keep him down. Because if I don't, then I'm kind of screwed. Although. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it. She is a warrior, isn't she? I do have some copies of Legendary Sword. It's a little bit of a ballsy play, but I could drop, like, this other red medicine for my Legendary Sword. That way, if he does end up playing a monster like that, I have a chance that I could potentially make something work. It's not a very good chance, and it relies on me drawing two very specific cards, but it is a chance. Yep, this, this is the best I got. Let's see how it goes. All right, so now that you guys have seen how we drew, I guess all that's left to do is get started. So uh, have you already done rock, paper, scissors? No. All right. I'm trying to decide which one's the best one. Well, obviously, it's Machine, because Machine has magic-resistant armor. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> God. So, I should be, uh, I, I should pick scissors. Oh, wow. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I didn't think you would pick scissors. I thought you would try to double bluff me into paper. 
Well, you said a uh, machine right. was the best one, and I assume you picked the best one. I didn't think you would listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. This this is the new meta. Oh my fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this on purpose. There okay. You go. Okay. Also, for anyone who cares, we are not running first turn draw. Uh, did you draw Polly? That's terrifying. Did I? I don't know. Like you're running fusion, so that's either a big psych out or you are actually running Polly. Right, let's see what I. How, if I remember how this works. You make an obviously illegal move, I'll let you know. Okay. First, I will... <laughs> I will activate Pots of Greed to draw oh, fuck. three additional cards from my deck. That's not how that card works. <laughs> and then I'll play Pot of Greed... No, I don't have another one. Magic Force! Magic Force! Hmm. And I will. You gonna destroy Pot of Greed? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a continuous card, didn't you know? I draw two cards every turn. That would be fucked up. <laughs> uh, so I place one card face down in defense mode. All right. And let's see. I shall end my turn. Okay. I will play two cards face down mm. and activate Goblin's Secret Remedy. Of course you do. To gain 600 life points. And then I will play the Celtic Guardian. Ah, uh, the Celtic Guardian. Who is going to attack your face down. It's probably a mystical elf. <laughs> a bold move, however... You've attacked into a giant soldier of stone. God damn it, I've lost 600 life points! <laughs> now you're back where you started. Ironic! You fool. <laughs> you fool. And I see you played your... your Celtic Guardian. However... Your Celtic Guardian will not last very long against... My Skull Red Bird. And to make matters worse, I am going to equip the Skull Red Bird with Follow Wind, which will oh, increase fuck. its attack and defense power by 300 points. That's actually inconvenient. So that's 1850. Yes, and I will denote that with the fucking tokens. Yeah. And then I will attack your Celtic Guardian. Oh no. My Celtic Guardian. That's like my best card. <laughs> and that will be the end of... Wait, 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 wait. You're, you did not put that in attack mode. Wait, I didn't put what in attack mode? Oh, I thought you were going to try to attack with the giant soldier of stone. No. Alright. Hey, was... you have a main face too. I was going to set one card face down. Alright. And then end my turn. Okay. It would appear I'm in something of a bind. Correct. I think the best thing for me to do I can't get over you I can't get over either of your walls, offensive or defensive. And at least not with any monster I have in my hand. But maybe I don't need to. I play Raigeki! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just a deadpan. Fuck! Damn you, Yugi. How dare you play such a card. <laughs> and I'll follow this up by playing my own Skull Red Bird. Uh, impossible. Assuming that Mirror Force doesn't exist yet, I'm going to attack directly. Uh, 1550? Yes. There we go. Hmm. Interesting. Well, looks like I'll just have to 
set one card face down. Dared to attack this beast? Hmm. If only I could have an inner monologue without my opponent hearing my thoughts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set one monster face down myself and end my turn. I'll uh, just pretend I'm I'm Pegasus. Yeah. Well, Yugi. It seems you have made a mistake by not attacking me. Because I will send my monster to the graveyard and set one card face down. Oh, and no. then I will also activate Mountain. Mountain? Holy shit, it's Mountain. Mountain! <laughs> what could he be playing that would be so worth it that he would increase my monster's attack? <laughs> what indeed, Yugi. That's my turn. I see. Hmm. An interesting play. However, you may have accidentally put yourself in a worse situation. For I am going to do a thing. I mm, sacrifice yeah. my fire Yaro in order to play Succubus Knight. Mm, and I'm not done choice. yet. For I oh. equip her with the legendary sword, which increases oh, no. her attack by 900. Fuck, by 300 points. <laughs> well, this isn't Dulles Kingdom. I know. <laughs> oh no. Which gives her an attack power of 1950. Go, my succubus! Attack his face down card! Uh, well, a bold choice. However, you have attacked into the Reaper of the card. And although you will destroy it by 20 points, <laughs> by it has an additional effect. Yeah, you're literally 20 points. <laughs> but yeah, that that was real that was an anime move right there. <laughs> like 20 fucking points. I get to choose one of your cards. One and if it's a trap, then I destroy it. I'll choose the middle one. Oh no, he's destroyed by two-pronged attack! <laughs> Oh, I forgot what was my battle phase. And then I'll attack directly for seven. Uh, do you want an attack defense? Yep. For 1750, boosted by your own mountain card. Hmm. A decent decision, Yugi. And with that, I shall end my turn. Well, fuck. Let's see. Damn, I didn't draw anything good this turn. Or did I? I don't know, I don't see your hand. Here, I'll show you my hand. No, don't <laughs> show me your hand! <laughs> ho ho ho. Hee hee ho ho. Eh, I'll set this card in, in defense mode. And, uh... End of my turn. Alright. I'll play the witty phantom in attack mode! Mmm, how witty. And I'll fuck up. Because this is probably another giant soldier of stone. Oh, it's Lu it's Lewis! Lewis. You have attacked into Lewis and you lose 100 life points. Dragon Wing Beast Thunder, of which he is none. That being said, now I know what your monster is. Skull Vedbird! Destroy Luis! <laughs> I don't remember if it's Luis or Luis. Luis. Luis, probably. And then Sc Succubus Knight, attack his life points directly for 1950! Damn. I'm really losing. <laughs> I'll be completely real, I didn't expect this to work. Uh, I ran Legendary Sword as a joke. Hmm. 
Perfect. I have the perfect card to stop you. And I will set it face down. It's either a massive bluff, or he might actually have a card that could stop me. <laughs> I have no choice but to go for it. I might be able to win this turn. Witty Phantom, attack his face down! Damn. <laughs> Fuck! He gets to send one mo Select one monster. Yep. Okay. I will send your Succubus Knight back to your hand. And by sending it back to my hand, you destroy the legendary sword. <laughs> uh, Looks like I've stopped your strategy. Uh, that being said, I have uh, 33,050 on board. Shit. Skull Bedford and Fire Yarrow! Finish off his remaining life points! Fuck. I didn't know I had that much left. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped your strategy, but at what cost? <laughs> wow, I actually won! <laughs> yeah. Me, I kinda drew like shit, to be honest. Oh, what? in the pot of greed. I drew like shit, too. And no, you drew Rageki. I drew- that was literally one of the best cards I drew. I know. I could tell. Uh, admit defeat. Rageki. You need to, uh... Oh, okay. Uh, oh! Oh, I forgot to, uh, set this to a 2 out of 3. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I could just offer a rematch, and it should allow you to side. Uh, okay, yeah, it lets yeah. you side. It didn't come up this tone, but it might come up. At the time of that uh, Legend of Blue Eyes was released, the rules were for field spells, where you could only have one out at a time, and if the, op other op uh, if the opponent played one, the other one would be destroyed. Uh -huh. Modern rules allow both players to have field spells out. So How if I... Work? Basically, if you played Mountain and I played something like Yami, both uh, both Mountain and Yami would take effect. Uh, do we want to run it old school or do we want to run it modern? I'm, mm, I'm fine with run it modern because we're running first turn draw modern. Yeah, modern sounds fine. Alright. Alright, in that case. I'm having an internal monologue right now. Maybe we should mute ourselves and fucking have have ourselves a moment. No, I think I'm good. All right. All right. I think I'm good too. Uh, you lost, so you get to pick first turn. Hmm. Yes. I will go first. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Well, I think I'll start this by setting one card face down in defense mode and then one card down here face down and end my turn. Hey Zeph. What? Do I know what I'm gonna play? Oh no. Goblin will take remedy. Of course you do. <laughs> okay, so you guys don't understand me. I did a t uh... Me and Zeph had a separate instance of this, which we pulled from uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, just so I could show Zeph how to do it. Um, this is, uh, we're running different pulls right now, but on that one, I also pulled Goblin Secret Remedy and proceeded to top deck it in basically every single duel on first turn. So the fact that this is happening again is why Zeph's going, A oh, fucking course you do. <laughs> sure. For the fifth Six. time! Just, just set your your life point counter to 8600 every time <laughs> at this point. And then I'll also play Yurabi! Mm. And I'll attack you a face down. Unless you had some, unless your hmm was about uh, going to play something. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, it wasn't 600 this time. Yeah. Knowing you have some powerful monsters that could get over your obby, I need to play defensively. So I'll play the Swords of Revealing Light! Hmm. An interesting decision, Yugi. I'm gonna set one card face down in defense mode. 
Die. since I can't attack anything. Oh wait, no. Wait, does Swords of Revealing Light force me to... Uh, no. Uh, okay. Uh, it so only... It can still reset face down? Yeah, it only, it only flips the monsters that are already face down. Okay. You think you're so safe behind that giant fucking spellcaster. But I can do damage without attacking! I play the Hinotama card! Oh, causing no. you to take 500 points of direct damage! Oh no, not burn. And then I play Fire Yaro! Did you draw an absurdly amount of burn cards too? I wish. <laughs> Wait, two? I kept drawing a bunch of burn cards. <laughs> like, I'm never gonna use these, I don't like burn. <laughs> the fact that they're in my deck should say a lot. Also, uh, tie. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sure is. So, I get to attack in two more uh, turns? The next, tu the next turn you will not be able to attack, but on the end of your next turn, the Swords of Revealing Light will be destroyed. Perfect. In that case, I'll set one more card and end my turn. You're never gonna fucking believe this. I play another Goblin Secret Remedy! God dang it. And I'll set one card face down and probably make a mistake by attacking your face down with your Uh, yes. Shit! <laughs> you get and to I send... will send... Does it have to be face up? Uh, it just says monster. I'll... 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 Whatever your face down card is. Alright. Well, at least I managed to clear his board. And I'll pass my turn. Hmm. The third and final turn of Swords of Appealing Light. It may very well be your last. <laughs> uh, you can summon in defense mode face up, right? No. No? No. That is an entirely illegal move that the <laughs> anime does a hundred times. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you can change monsters from attack to defense, um, face up attack to face up defense. Or if they are set, you can flip summon them from face down defense to face up attack. But the only way to get a monster in face up defense is by special summoning via card effect, or by moving them there from face-up attack. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, I'll place one more card. But next turn, Robin, you're finished. Maybe. But I decide when the stalling ends. Another Swords of Revealing Light! Uh, of course he had a second one. <laughs> and then I'll sacrifice my Fire Yaro for Spike Seedra! Which has just enough power to attack over your Luis! Hmm, I see. As long as I have enough power to swing over his monsters, I might be able to prevent him from summoning something bigger. Bigger, you say? Do you mean... something like... the legendary... No. Dark Magician! You threw alt art Dark Magician? Yes. Yo! That's <laughs> fucking cool! I didn't know alt art Dark Magician was- oh, oh. It was probably normal art Dark Magician, but you chose to put, uh... No, it was the alternate one. I used the artwork that it that it uh that I draw. You actually drew Altar Dark but fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Altar Dark Magician is actually rarer than normal Dark Magician. Hmm. Interesting. And I will set two cards face down. Let's see you get over this. I don't know if I have anything that can. I'll place one card face down. And I'll hit you with another Hinotama card! Mm. Hit me all you want, Yugi. <laughs> Says the guy with the Dark Magician. True. 
I still can't do very much, but I can at least set a card face down. You better not have a third sword. <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. <laughs> I'll attack with Spike Seedra. Hmm. Terror the Terrible, I love that name. <laughs> And I'll terrible. And I'll switch my Yurabi into defensive mode. Defense mode? Hmm. So, I, I attack next turn? I can attack yes. next turn? Swords of Healing Light dies this turn. Okay. Well, then. Looks like I can still win this. But even harder. Because I activate the Book of Secret Arts. Oh, good. To power up my Dark Magician. Good. Now it has 2,800 attack points and 2,400 defense points. Next turn, Robin. I need the heart of the cards all over this bitch right now. You're still at full life points. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't have a lot that can get over the Dark Magician. Well, we both know you have at least one thing. No, I know. <laughs> Regeki. And... I'll set this field spell face down. Field which is a spell. legal move. I did not know you could do that. <laughs> Neither did I. I learned that, like, recently. <laughs> Given, it's like one of those moves that you never actually see because usually if you have a field spell, you want to throw it out now. Mm hmm. But, like, it's a legal move. Interesting. Well, Robin, it seems putting your Seedra into defense mode was a big mistake because I summon the Tripwire Beast in attack card, mode. But that card only has 1200 attack. <laughs> Think again, Yugi, because I activate the Electro Whip. That oddly works, considering his design. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 to boost his attack power by 300, and now uh, he what? Can you put a? Can you put make that number two? How, how do I make it a two? Just put a uh, counter on it. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. So now... I will have it attack your Spike Seedra and my, <laughs> and my Dark Magician will attack your Yurubai. I'm really fucked now. <laughs> Imagine... Yugi in his in internal monologue <laughs> just saying that. God, Kai was really fucking my ass right now. <laughs> I've not drawn a single fucking thing in three turns. I am freaking so damn hard. I play that face down and end my turn. Mm, face down, huh? I see. Well... Looks like you'll have to feel the wrath of my skull red bird. Yeah. And just to make matters worse, I will power it up with follow wind. The equip card! You, you have some fucking balls running that many equips! <laughs> I wasn't feeling that ballsy! <laughs> I told you that I at least drew something resembling a, uh, a deck. <laughs> I'm. I guess I should have fun more equips. I think you're gonna beat me in the equip game. Yeah, when you you were telling me how uh, when you were saying how the game, how like the early game is more about building power. <laughs> I was like, hmm, more power, huh? I was talking about running cards like red eyes. You, you assume I drew a red eyes. You took the Dark Magician! That's better! <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, what are you going to do? Wait, how do I... Okay, there we go. 
I'm going to have Tripwire Beast attack. Uh, it, it won't let me attack. Uh, it won't let you. Try toggling uh, main phase, battle phase. Oh, there it goes. I think oh, okay. it was lagging. Oh, yeah, it, it was definitely lagging. But yeah, that's the one I'm attacking. Oh. It destroys my trial of nightmare. And then Skull Red Bird's going to attack your other face down. Oh, it was another Skull Red Bird. And now, the Dark Magician will attack you directly for 2,800. Woohoo! Oh, big meaty. Yeah. Oh, well, I forgot I also had that face down. Oh, well. 30, so you have 1,500. You have 6,150 on board. 6150? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I end my turn. I see. Any last words before I finish you off? I would have really liked to draw my Geki. True. <laughs> because I'd play Urubai. And, Whatever uh, that fucking face out is. Yes. I oh will power God. up Skull Red Bird. <laughs> For another 300. Okay. And, uh. Who's attacking who? Your is attacking. That's game. <laughs> okay. That's game. Um. Oh, fuck off! You drew right, Geki. <sighs> Oh, no. You have three? Yeah! <laughs> of course you have three. Uh... These are my next five. Nice. I completely fucking ripped. Well, Hain Hain could have helped, maybe. Yeah, Hain Hain might have been at least... Hain Hain could have bounced Dark Magician, but you had enough monsters on board that uh, you could have uh, just brought him back. And also, he was five cards deep. Mm-hmm. I wasn't even getting anything remotely comparable until Succubus Knight, six deep. True. Well, I know what I'm not running. <laughs> Swords of Revealing Light? No, I side-decked Yami. Uh, but... You're running the Dark Magician. <laughs> dark magician. <laughs> yeah, not on your fucking life. I don't think I need to side anything, or swap anything. I had a hard time deciding what to side because a lot of the cards yeah. just weren't built for it. My side is mostly. I have. My side is mostly just more monsters. Although maybe I should have sided some equip spells. Mine is mostly spell cards because it's like there's not really any monsters I would like to swap out. Yeah, I'm not. I, I should have. I should have ran more equips. I think. I think we're gonna play Yura Bean. Uh, face up attack and end my turn. Face up attack. <laughs> well, first I will activate Pot of Greed to draw three God. additional cards from my deck. God damn it! And then I will play Pot of Greed to draw three additional cards from my deck. You actually did draw three. Put one back. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah. No, I drew. I, I just saw you draw three. So you had five, so you had mm. five, uh, six cards at the start of turn. So you played one, bringing you down to five. So then you would draw. You would have seven, right? Yeah, you would have seven. Yeah. And then one of those was Pot of Greed, which would make you go from six to eight. So you should have. I have oh, eight. eight cards. I must. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Do I not. Discounted. <laughs> I know you did. Hmm. I must have heard the flip of one of the products we going to the graveyard and mistook it. Yeah, I sent one of them to the graveyard. I will set one card face down. Hmm. I will also set one card face down. And I will attack over your face down monster. Shit! Your Yurubai must be sent back to your hand. That was exactly what I was counting for. 
I will play Fiend Reflection in attack mode. Actually, kind of supplies your running back. Why? I guess it plays to your follow win strategy. No. <laughs> I will equip it with follow win. And then I will attack your face down card. Funny that you did that. Because you just attacked into my armed ninja. Ugh. The armed ninja allows me to send one spell card back from your field back to your hand. And while that might not save him, it does de-equip the follow wind. No, it destroys it. It doesn't send it back to my hand. Oh yeah, it destroys it. Well, that's my turn. And here's a familiar face. Yorabi, attack his feed reflection! Uh. Alright, I'm actually <laughs> in the lead. I do have a second idea. This card in defense mode. In that case, I'll play the Skull Red Bird and attack into your face down. Damn. And then Urabi will attack directly! Damn. <laughs> you wouldn't be so foolish as to play a mountain and lose one of my cards. Wait a minute, he would be that foolish, never mind. <laughs> Literally I, everyone to Joey. There's no way he would be foolish enough to boost one of my mods! Wait, no, actually, that's exactly what he would do, never mind. In fact, I might actually be able to count on that. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I'll play the Fire Yato card! Mm. And play, oh, yeah. one, play one card face down. Skull Redbird, attack over his monster! Damn you. Oh, that was actually- <laughs> You killed Lewis. That was actually a good play. Fire Yaro, Urabi, a combo attack for 2,800 points! Uh, if I don't think of something quick, I'm done for. Did you break with a double pot of greed? Pretty much, yeah. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. I'll play the Trial of Nightmare! Anything to say about that? No, nope, not really. Then I will attack with Skull Vedford! You have killed my, my armed ninja. I do get to reveal your card, though. Sadly, it is not a spell. Hmm. A dragon capture jar, I see. <laughs> Look, I didn't know if you were gonna run blue eyes. True. And then Urabi, Trial of Nightmare, and Fire Yaro, attack for 4,100 points! Damn, I lost. Oh no. I actually won that? <laughs> <laughs> like, this was my hand. I legitimately did not think I was going to win this. Ah, uh, yes. What was yours? <laughs> oh, you did have a red eyes! You, you lied to me! <laughs> you said blue eyes. No, I said red eyes, and you said you didn't draw red eyes! I didn't draw red eyes. <laughs> I guess you didn't draw red eyes that very fucking second! No. <laughs> Reaper of the cause of that would have been bad. No, I did I got, draw I got, red eyes, actually. Like, first turn. I got, yeah. I got really lucky by drawing into, uh, by, uh... Like, I knew my strategy going into this was going to be I have to go on the offensive immediately and just hope you don't draw Aquamador. Yeah, I didn't draw any of my defense. Oops. Like, my... That's actually why I ran Light Force Sword and Sojin. Because I knew if I comboed Light Force Sword and Sojin, I would be able to have uh, I'd be able to have Succubus Knight attack over uh, any 2,000 point defensive walls. Mm -hmm. That was the only combo strategy I had in my deck besides attack really hard and hope he doesn't get up over that. Yeah, literally, I have a bunch of things that support winged beasts and dragons. Which, to be fair, is actually a pretty decent strategy. I yeah. I probably should have run something akin to that. Yeah, like, I basically looked at uh, what I was drawing, and I was drawing a lot of mountain support, I guess. 
So yeah. I just built something based around that. The fact like that I said, it's it's not perfect. It's the like it's like the bare bones of something that might be that I could probably make better. Yeah. Like the fact that you drew anything that could remotely be considered an archetype is enough, because I just drew bullshit. I tried to make a Sojin deck. Like I I looked at my deck and said is there anything I could do to make this a little bit stronger? Do I have, like, more warriors or beast warriors that I could play? And the answer was no. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then it was like, well, hang on a second. My best monsters are shit like uh, Skull, Red, Bird, and Urabi. Do I have any mountain support that could go with winged beasts and dinosaurs? No. Do I have any wastelands that could boost dinosaurs? No. Well, I guess I'll run Trap Hole Three Swords in a Dream. You had Trap Hole? Yes! You didn't I, draw any of them? I drew one, you just never had to, No, I played Trap Hole! Oh, right! I played Trap Hole... Um... The first duel. Um, I almost Trap Hole your one monster when you played it. But I decided against it in case you had something like Blue Eyes. And I just mm. managed... And then I realized it'd be better for me to ride Geki what you had and then attack over it. So basically, I let you get a slight lead in order to, to me, for me to make a stronger comeback. Mm -hmm. And I just never had an instance where I needed to play Trap Hole. Uh. <laughs> I did have Trap Hole on deck in case you did have something, and I was kind of worried about Reaper of the Cards, but I managed to beat that by 20 points. I know, that was... Uh, like, that was peak anime moment right there. <laughs> yep. And like, I was actually... In fact, I was actually sitting there thinking... If this is a 2,000 point monster, and I'm attacking over it, then I'm just kind of screwed. But, uh... He could flip the monster, and then I could also trap hole it. So I was actually wondering whether or not I wanted to swing into that at all. Especially because I knew you might draw Reaper of the Cards, and which could have destroyed trap hole. Reaper of the Cards should be a 1400, 1950. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck is Reaper of the Cards even doing? I don't know. <laughs> Castle of the Dark Illusions does the same fucking shit. Uh-huh. But, yep. I I guess I've won. So, I'm gonna go draw my tournament packs. Uh, you can draw three packs of uh, Legend of the Blue Eyes. Um, if you wanna Great, make this... Yeah, I thought it was five. <laughs> um, in, the text that, in the text I sent you, it was five tournament packs for the winner and three old packs oh, for the winner. Okay, I got them mixed up then. Yeah. But, uh, yep. We'll get to drawing our spoils of war. And we'll see you next time for Metal Raiders. <laughs>